Felix Shales with radius R and 2 R are given uh, charge uh, Q and 2 Q respectively under the uh, in equilibrium. Okay. Uh, the potential on the outer shell is V naught. That is, here it is V naught. Now, if the inner shell is connected to ground, then the potential on the outer shell becomes V1. The ratio of V0 uh, by V1 equals to what? So, you know, first of all, if we give uh, charge plus Q on the inner shell, then it will be distributed the outer surface. It is plus Q. Now, in the inner <coughs> surface of the outer shell, there will be minus Q. And uh, at the outer, it will be plus Q. Now, uh, plus 2Q charge also given at the outer shell. So, plus 2q also given at outer shell so it will be distributed at the outer shell so at the outer side it will be what total charge will be q plus 2q so v naught is outer shell uh, potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the Gaussian surface at the outer shell that is at r equals to 2r so inside this Gaussian surface let us draw Gaussian surface at here r equals to 2r R equals to a dry Gaussian surface. Now, what will be in the potential? Will be inside it will be this is minus Q and this is plus Q. So, it will be 0 and as uh, this is a thin shell. So, all the charge will count. Okay. So, outer shell is Q plus 2Q by twice uh, so 1 by 4 by epsilon naught 3 q by twice uh. now uh, inner shell is connected to ground so we know if we ground then uh, charge will be induced let us take it as q dash so charge will be induced here So, charge will be induced here. <clears throat> now, due to this charge, induced charge, uh, there will be Q dash. And also, there is uh, in the previous charge was plus Q. So, it will remain as it is. Q and Q dash. Now here will be what? Previously it was minus Q. Now it will be minus Q. Minus Q plus Q dash. Okay. Now similarly here will be what? Q plus Q dash again we uh, give at the outer shell plus 2q so it will be at the outer shell it will be what this will be plus 2q okay so now we have to uh, find v1 that is potential as outer shell potential at outer shell 
will be what v1 equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught again draw a Gaussian surface at v naught that is at outer shell sorry here we have to find potential so draw a Gaussian surface now total encoasters inside Gaussian surface is this q plus q dash and minus q minus q dash sorry this is uh, plus q plus q dash and this is minus q minus q dash and it will also at the as uh, before also like uh, here thickness is small so total charge will count at the uh, 2 r 2 r okay so total charge this charge and this charge would get cancelled so only out 3q this charge will contribute this 3q plus q plus q dash divided by twice r now we know we have to find q dash now we know initial uh, potential is zero at this condition so v at inertial equals to zero so again draw a gaussian surface here now we'll use another ink gaussian surface here so 1 by 4 pi is silo not enclosed charge will be here it is q plus q dash by r y see here it is q plus q dash by r at uh, and at here it is minus q minus q dash and here it is q so all charge will add q plus q dash this minus okay again plus the outer surface of outer shell is 3q plus q dash see it is this okay so it is 2r so what will happen this is this will get cancelled and will remain here only q by r q plus q dash divided by r plus q by r equals to 0 so q dash equals to minus 2q and put this q dash at v1 here so we'll get what v1 equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by 2 i r should so v0 by v1 equals to what this is v0 and this is v1 is equals to 3 